As I sit here, typing this out, I can't shake the feeling that he's still out there, watching, waiting. It all started innocently enough, just a few strange occurrences that I brushed off as mere coincidences. But as the days passed, the incidents grew more unnerving, more sinister. Now, I'm convinced that I have a stalker, someone who's fixated on me, someone who won't stop until he gets what he wants. It was a chilly autumn afternoon when I first noticed something was wrong. I was walking home from school, and as I glanced over my shoulder, a feeling of inexplicable dread prickled at the back of my neck. And that's when I saw him, lurking behind a tree, his eyes boring into me with a disturbing intensity. I quickened my pace, my heart hammering in my chest. But no matter how fast I walked, he was always there, lurking just out of sight, like a shadow haunting my every move. Over the next few days, the encounters became more frequent, more disturbing. I would catch glimpses of him everywhere I went lurking from the shadows, his face obscured by darkness. Sometimes I would hear footsteps echoing behind me, quickening when I quickened, slowing when I slowed. I confided in my friends, but they brushed off my fears as paranoia, telling me that I was imagining things. But I knew deep down that I wasn't crazy, that there was someone out there who was watching me, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And then, one night, he made his move. I'd stayed late at school to study for an upcoming exam, the library quiet and deserted save for the soft hum of fluorescent lights. As I made my way home, I could sense his presence, a cold chill creeping up my spine as I realized that he was following me once again. I tried to ignore him, to focus on putting one foot in front of the other, but his presence was like a weight pressing down on me, suffocating me with fear. And then, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, he stepped out from the shadows, his face twisted into a malevolent grin. I froze my blood turning to ice as I stared into his cold, unfeeling eyes. And then, without a word, he lunged at me, his hands reaching out to grab me, to pull me away into his darkness. Instinct kicked in, and I turned and ran, my heart pounding in my chest as I raced through the empty streets, his footsteps echoing behind me like the beat of impending doom. I didn't dare look back, didn't dare slow down. I don't know how long I ran or how far I traveled, but eventually I stumbled into the safety of my own home, my breaths coming in ragged gasps as I collapsed onto the floor. And as I lay there shaking and crying, I couldn't help but wonder how close I was to becoming a victim of something truly horrifying. I remember the first time I laid eyes on him, sitting across from me at a dimly lit cafe. He had a charming smile, messy hair, and beautiful blue eyes. Let's call him Jake. Jake was your average guy, or so I thought. We met through Tinder, the modern-day love roulette where you never quite know what you're going to get. Our conversation flowed easily enough but there was something off about him. Maybe it was the way he looked at me, like he was dissecting my every word. Despite my reservations, I agreed to a second date. Maybe I was just being paranoid, I thought. But as the days passed, Jake's texts became increasingly frequent and intense. He wanted to see me again, to spend every waking moment together. It was suffocating, to say the least. I tried to let him down gently, but he didn't take the hint. And that's when things took a turn for the worse. It started with messages, dozens of them flooding my inbox every hour. Then came the phone calls, relentless and incessant. I blocked his number, 
but then he started to contact me through social media. I was terrified, but I didn't want to involve the authorities just yet. Maybe I could handle it on my own, I naively thought. But then he started showing up uninvited, lurking outside my apartment building. I would catch glimpses of him out of the corner of my eye, his figure disappearing into the crowd before I could confront him. I felt like I was losing my mind, like I was being watched every waking moment. One night, I woke up to the sound of scratching at my bedroom window. Heart pounding, I mustered up the courage to investigate, only to find nothing but darkness staring back at me. I told myself it was just my imagination that I was letting fear get the best of me. But deep down, I knew it was him lurking in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I couldn't take it anymore. I packed a bag and fled to a friend's house, hoping to escape the clutches of my stalker. But even there, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of being hunted like prey. I was trapped in a nightmare with no way out. Eventually, I mustered up the courage to go to the police, to tell them about the man who had been terrorizing me for weeks. They assured me they would do everything in their power to apprehend him. But deep down, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. And then, just when I thought I was safe, he found me again. I was walking home from work one night when I felt a presence behind me. A cold chill ran down my spine. I quickened my pace, desperate to escape, but it was no use. He was too fast. I don't remember much of what happened next, only flashes of pain and terror as he dragged me into an alley. But somehow, against all odds, I managed to break free to fight back with every ounce of strength I had left. And as I stumbled back out into the light, bruised and bloodied but alive, I knew that I would never be the same again.